of YouTube land. My name is Wildboy5699. Welcome back to another video. Now, I wanted to share this because I just got back. It is like 11.35 at night, and I just got back to what is probably the most loudest and insane this concert, most insane concert I have ever been to. Now, uh, before we begin, yes, I finally got me an office chair. This is the um, one my grandfather had before he passed away. I talked to my grandmother into ha getting having it, and she finally came in and finally said, yes, I can have it as long as I take good care of it. So I ended up doing yeah, that. So, But anyway, I wanted to talk about probably this concert I just got back from. It's probably the most, like I said, the most loudest and the most insane, insane concert I ever went to. I'm going to tell you why. So, uh, in case you want to go, me and my brother went to a concert, just got back from a concert from the band Fozzy, which Fozzy is a rock band, which the lead singer is WWE wrestler Chris Jericho. And for a, and we went to, I got him tickets. They came to the town, uh, into the city, where I saw Steel Tam Panther and Buck Cherry in, and Skillet. And... I got my brother tickets to Fozzie for Christmas. They wanted to sit back in November. I got them in December. I got them for Christmas gifts. And it was in May. So six months but out. So they had, we went there, we got there around 4.30, 4, 4.30 this afternoon. Shit. We got there about 4.30 this afternoon. And there was already a line. People were already doing their the meet and greet and all that. And we were probably about, probably the 15th person on the line, which we did manage to get a good spot on the pit. We got pit tickets. I tried to talk to my parents and my brother into getting VIP tickets. They were like 200 bucks, and we came with you. Got sound check, meet the band, pictures, and all that. Cool. And parents wanted a bunch. So what? So we ended up getting pit tickets on. Well, I paid for my brother's tickets for Christmas, and my friends bought me a ticket because I wanted to go with him. So we got there, and it was starting to rain. It was a little bit, a little bit of thunder and lightning inside, outside, but nothing too serious. Doors open at seven, and all that. Went to the scan and all that. And get this, they had three opening acts. Three opening acts, and then they had Fozzie. So the show started at 6.45. Doors opened at 6. We got inside about 6 o'clock. And the show started at 7.45. Not 7.45, 6.45. And there were three opening acts. Never heard of them before. And I don't even, truth be told, I'm, don't, I never even knew who Fozzie was because of my brother. I only knew him because Chris Jarrett was a wrestler. And my brother was a huge fan of them, and I knew he loved them, so I wanted to give him tickets, so I went. But I actually had a really good time. I had a lot, a lot of fun seeing at the show. And this is probably like my seventh eighth concert I went to and this was a fun show and it was probably was an actual back show and it was fucking loud and anyway we had there was three opening acts the first act came on it was like the nocturnal affair or something never heard never heard of the open acts they were kind of like an alternative rock band kind of like uh Pinder or Buckcher or something like that and then after that they were all right, nothing too good. They were good, but I, I wanted to hear what the other ones before I made a decision. And so the other two, the other opening acts, I can't tell if they were British or Australian. They were a basically a screamo death metal band called Crash Carmen. And this is really cool. And what they did, uh, they set it up, and then what they did, they had the, there was a two-person group. It was a drummer, and they were both vocalists. There was a guitar player and a drummer. It was a two-person band. And they, what they did... Uh, they came down the walkway from the chairs. So they were walking down, got into the pit. She was playing the drums, and she was, um, uh, the guy was singing the microphone, and that was an in fucking insane. That was the most, that was the most loudest and screamo band. I keep hearing that. I'm sorry. Keep, the most loudest and screamo band I've seen, I've ever seen perform live. And I, they were absolutely fucking loud. Like, all I heard was like, rrr, 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 like that shit. But they had, like, a sledgehammer. She was being on the, uh, celibate, the crash thing for the drum thing. And this is where, this is where shit happens. And this is where I'm going to stop right here. And it's during that second opening act, uh, there was, these, before the second opening act came out, there was two, dr there was already these two people. They were already drunk. And from what I heard, they were arguing because they were, like, inter inappropriate kid touching or assaulting a kid or something like that they got in trouble they were right behind me my brother uh got behind get behind us and so they started freaking screaming and not screaming into my ear loudly they were like wow they were already shit faced drunk my brother and they had long hair so they were like doing that shit and they kept hitting my back and i was already getting annoyed annoyed my brother was getting annoyed as well and then about the second or third song where that crash carmen band came out i fuck the same people who got drunk a fight fucking broke loose right like literally right behind literally from the chair 
probably to the wall. To that wall. And it was fucking now with my anxiety, it was pretty bad because I was already getting antsy and having anxiety issues because not because of coaster flow, but the way people were acting. And so they a fight broke out. Luckily my brother knows me well enough and understands. So he quickly grabs me and pulls me behind and good for him. That's a good way that's a good brother looking at. He quickly pulls me pulls me behind behind him so I wouldn't get hurt. So then you know you probably wonder why your little why is your little brother protecting him? Couple reasons. Number one um, I'm not very strong. He is strong. He's 17 years old, gonna be 18 on May 7th, May 27th, and he's 17, six foot two, 200 pounds. Not one, of, not the guy you want to piss off. So he was luckily he knew, knew what he, especially because he especially knowing me as I got older, he knew, look out for me because we always say look out for each other. So he was looking out for me. So he when the fight broke out, it was it was a Lexus fight. I don't know what the happened. The fight broke out. I think somebody spilled beer or something, drink or something on them, but it was bad. And then. The, and funny enough, the oh, the band didn't even, I guess they didn't even see it, they never acknowledged it, it was fucking crazy, it was bad. So, I think they got kicked out or something, I have no idea. So, the second band, like I said, it was a good band, really good. It would have been better if that fucking fight didn't break down, get him screaming in my ear with the fucking drunk people. And so then, like I said, good band, I will check them out. And then the third band, they were by far, in my opinion, they were a better band, they were a better performer than Fozzie, and Fozzie put on a good show. So... This band I got, I'm going to open this, it is called, they are all female rock band, and they're kind of like screamo as well, and this is like the first time I ever seen a death metal screamo band, and they are called GFM. Now, I think it's like Gold, Frankenstein, and um, Fmer, and I think from what I've heard, that is the thing where where the three wise men gave Jesus a G gave G, baby Jesus. And I was like, you know, this band was absolutely cool. I got the bracelet from them. And before the even band came out, uh, there was a lady throwing, like, balls and had the um, bracelets. My brother got a baby, uh, rubber ducky cupcake thing. I got a glow, uh, glow stick and all that. And so and I ended up, right, right as the show ended, the lead singer was actually nice enough. And it was funny because people were joking about saying the, the lead singer was hitting on me and all that. Uh, I got the... Um, Band, the side, the song sheet from GFM, and I said if I'm gonna get because the, they said they were gonna be at the merch booth. All the opening acts were at the uh, merch booth, and of the many concerts I've seen at this venue, they were already um, have um, been opening. They always many. I've met the band uh, when I saw Steel Panther. They were already all the bands like I said, all the band opening acts. They were already at the merch booth, being people signed stuff, taking pictures, and all that. That's really cool because all the I've been all the concerts I've been to. At this place, I think it's called, it's called Temple Live, and the people I've seen opening acts, they were they were all nice enough to meet, uh, sign stuff and all that. It's really cool. So I'm like, oh, if they're cool, I'm gonna get this signed. So and I got the sign of GFM, and so they signed it, and it was really really cool. This one is kind of had shitty, not six on blurry, but I'm definitely gonna hang this up. She was nice enough. The lead singer, I think it was the singer, was nice enough to hand it to me. So I'm gonna put that in my pocket, safe. And I'm going to go see if I can get that sign. And I, they were so good, I had to end up buying a shirt. I ended up having to buy a shirt because I definitely want to support this band. Now, like I said, they're called GFM. And they were the opening act for, the last opening act for Fozzie. And they have one more show. The day, the day is their second to last show. And they have one more show in Illinois tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to wear that another time. But like I said, I would love them to support that band. They were by far the best. Well, actually, the, I met another opening act band, Steel, uh, Steel, Pan uh, Steel Panther, when I saw Steel Panther. Uh, back in March, I met the I met the band and again in Sin. And at that time, they were the, probably the best opening act I saw. Fortunately, that's changed to GFM. But Any Given Sin is a really close band. Second, so and actually, Any Given Sin was the opening um, act for Steel Panther, and they're actually really really amazing. And so I actually got to meet up Phil that because I didn't get this, I didn't have bought anything. But I was, but they were nice enough nice enough to get a picture for me. My, and however, I did have plenty of videos and pictures of the concert and Fozzie of the band. My fucking dumbass decided. I had too much storage, and my dumbass pushed the delete all button. Everything's gone besides the pictures I took with GFM, and I also met the band, the band uh, Crash Carmen. That's all I have left. And my brother was upset. I'm like, I'm sorry. I did not mean to. It was an accident. Accidents happen. It is what it is. But my brother luckily did have some videos. He's gonna post on Facebook. I may post them to YouTube. I don't know. But as right now, here's the picture of me with all the female rock band called GFM. And then here's the one where I am. Where here's the one where me and it's the Crash Carmen. So like I said, Crash Carmen. I think they were Australian or um, British. I couldn't tell. I really can't tell sometimes between them. But they were really nice guys, and they actually knew I wore the Steel Panther shirt because I didn't have 
Fozzie shirt. The only one, the only shirt I got was the GFM shirt. I don't know if you can see. Let me show you again. Uh, I'm gonna definitely go support this band. It was only twenty-five dollars, and really cool. I'm definitely gonna support them. So, like I said, this was like this was the most loudest and most insane concert I've ever been to in my life. It was. LOL, Fozzie already put on a good show. It was already a good show. Like I said, I don't know many songs by Fozzie. My brother's a huge fan, a fan of them, so he knew all the songs, so that was good. I think the, I only knew the last two songs, which is Judas and um, Dirty Deeds Under Two, which is ACDC cover. And I did end up getting a pick, I think. Yes, I did end up getting the pick from the guitar player for Fozzie. There was a guy next to me who ended up getting three picks from the first opening act and then the GFM. But like I said, it was funny because he said, I told him he got the pick, I asked him he got the pick, and I said, I got the song sheet, so really cool. So, like I said, that was freeing up. My brother ended up getting like a, a something for that, for the GFN. They were nice enough to sign it too. So, like I said, really nice, really nice girls. I wanted to get something from the Crash Carmen band, but it didn't look like they had some stuff out. But I feel bad, but they were really nice. The girl reminded me of Harley Quinn for some reason. I don't know why. She definitely reminded me a lot of Harley Quinn, but she was, like I said, really nice guys. They knew who Steel Panther was, and they both said I did look like somebody I would listen to rock, which that was really awesome. So, so like I said, um, it was a really good show. It was an actual legit rock show. People were actually going nuts, going nuts, and losing their shits. And I could barely hear myself. I could barely hear myself talk. I could barely hear myself scream. So all in all, it was actually a legitimate good show, and I may have to get Fozzie to listen to. I'm definitely gonna go support that band, GFM on Twitter. Gonna take a picture of that in the song sheet, and I'm gonna see if I can post it on social media and all that. So like I said, that's pretty much it for this video. It is late at night. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this to YouTube right now. Uh, I'll probably up import it to my computer, and probably go to bed because I'm exhausted. I have to take my medicine. Gotta get settled down. I'm still in the clothes I wore, and it's almost midnight. So. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to read the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.